Hi guys, in this video, I am going to share about top 7 mistakes which are committed by the UPSC prelims aspirant in the last week which prevents them from qualifying the prelims examination. And what I am going to share today is from my experience. Hi, I am Santosh Pandey. I have cracked the UPSC prelims exam all 6 times with a unique distinction of scoring one of the highest marks ever scored by any UPSC aspirant. Okay, and today we will see what are the mistakes which basically differentiates between a successful aspirant and an unsuccessful aspirant. Successful aspirants avoid these mistakes in the last one week. What are these mistakes? Let us see them. The first mistake as you can read is that don't try to read which you have not read for the entire year. Okay, I'll tell you in my first attempt in 2011 when I was writing for the first attempt. Okay, that time, that year, because it was my first attempt and I had not prepared some portions of the syllabus, particularly the art and culture part. So what happened just before the examination okay I got that anxiety I got that fear that I have not covered art and culture and I started reading art and culture in the last week and it was very fearful to read art and culture in the last week and I tell you frankly that uh, I was not able to solve any art and culture in the exam hall okay I was not able to solve them so do not try to read any question do not try to read any portion of the syllabus which you have not read for the entire year do not try to read something new for example art and culture or for example science okay try to only cover those portions revise those portions which you have read throughout the year okay so what that does mean that does mean that you need to completely leave art and culture if you have not read it no I'll tell you about uh, in coming videos how to cover those portions which you have not read for the entire year that please let me know in the comment box do you need that video also that is the first mistake guys I think first mistake is clear don't try to read something which you have not read for the entire year okay let us see what are the second mistake we should avoid second mistake is don't try to cover everything don't try to cover everything guys okay see what happens suppose you take up uh, modern India or you take up Lakshmi Kant okay so don't try to read cover to cover Okay, in last week you do not have the time to cover the entire book from cover to cover. You have to identify okay, most high yielding chapters. For example, okay, uh, in, 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 in the beginning of the Lakshmi Khan, okay, constitutional framework is very important, parliament is very important, okay, executive is important. Okay. So these are there are some chapters which are high yielding chapters. Try to revise them and then you try to do okay what are the important issues which were there in news for example this year we all know that governor has been news so you need to revise the governor chapter properly don't try to read every chapter in the last one week it is not possible to cover every chapter of every subject of every book in the last one week it is not possible don't try to do that you will waste a lot of time and you will not be able to cover the entire syllabus guys let us see the third problem the third problem which your third mistake which generally students make and you should avoid is don't refer multiple sources see what will happen in the last okay in the last week okay people start uh, uh, referring multiple sources for the same topic for example they want to read art and culture so they will start referring from multiple sources okay don't try to do that have one standard resource okay for the static part for example in art and culture you have the old ncrt's and the class 11th art and culture and you read one standard current affairs material be it any coaching institute material right read only one okay don't try to refer multiple sources for current affairs see generally what happens in the end many small small compilation will come okay and people start to read multiple same thing from the multiple resources it is a waste of time guys don't commit that mistake next don't take multiple mock means what don't take multiple mocks of multiple institutes okay what happens in the last one week what will happen many institutes are going to come with what open mock okay open mock try to understand what is the purpose behind them giving this open mock there is only one person one purpose they want to take your enrollment they want to take your enrollment so that they can publish their your name once you qualify the UPSC exam their not purpose is to help you okay so why I am telling you don't take mocks from multiple institutes see why see what happens generally student what they do okay suppose the free mock institute A is there institute B is there institute C is there institute B is there so what they will do what students will do they will take some open mock of institute A then they will take some open mock of institute B then C then D what what will happen just understand see the institute A had suppose 10 mock test okay 10 full length test 10 full length test institute B had suppose 15 full length test institute C had some 10 and institute D had some 15 so what you have done 
you have taken some two marks of hair two marks of hair two marks of hair two marks of hair okay but you have not taken holistically any one institute's entire mock so what will happen this institute has not asked all the important questions in one mock now it is not possible for any institute to ask all the important questions in one mock okay so you need to complete all the mocks of one institute at least one institute you need to complete it so that you will have a sense of completion for me only let, let me just tell you like suppose i am making the mock test okay so what i have done is that i have collected all the important questions all the important questions and i have divided them into what i have divided it into seven sectional test and seven full length test seven full length test so if you do not solve all the test then what is going to happen suppose what you do you take two from here two from some other institute two from some other institute two from some other institute so you have taken 10 mock test you have taken 10 mock tests but you have not completed any one mock completely so that all the important because what i will do i cannot keep all the important questions in one mock na i have to distribute them into throughout all the mocks so my advice sincere advice to you is that pick one mock okay pick one mock which is good which you think it is good and try to solve all the questions try to solve all the questions here i would like to make the point that i have made okay seven sectional okay 100 questions of polity 100 questions of economy 100 questions of history 100 questions of art and culture 100 questions of uh, uh, environment 100 questions of science and tech like that i have prepared 700 questions which are the most important topics subject wise and i have prepared seven full length test okay on all important topics plus the evergreen topics like preamble okay constitutional government like that there are some evergreen topics plus the important topics these are the seven full length tests so if you solve if you solve this 1400 question if you solve this 1400 question guys nothing will come outside that nothing is going to come outside that but don't make that mistake which i have just spoke that don't take multiple mocks of multiple issue take one take one initiative beat any the any initiative but try to solve holistically all the final mocks of that institute that is the thing you should do okay let us see the next mistake next mistake is don't okay don't leave the important topics don't leave the important topics so what are important topics see for example let me give you one case study like this year you see inflation has been in news okay throughout the world inflation has been news so you need to read inflation topic holistically okay what is inflation what are the different types of inflation how inflation is measured what is cpi what is wpi what is the relation between cpi and wpi and why wpi is more than cpi it is discussed in the economic survey so cover cover those important topics which are in news holistically guys like balance of payment crisis rupee depreciation appreciation all these are in news so what you need to do is these are the important topics so identify the important themes in the entire year identify the important themes in the entire year and cover them for example let me just give you this year okay rakhi gadi is in news so obviously harappan civilization is in news what are the various excavation which are happening in rakhi gadi or in harappan civilization or any uh, facet of harappan civilization is in news so you have to identify you have to identify these themes which are in news in the last one year and try to cover them properly in the last one week which is very important because these are high yielding areas if we analyze the trend in the upsc what they do is that they pick the question they pick the question from the current events but they ask the traditional aspect of it they ask the traditional aspect of it so whatever has been in news okay i have prepared this list of important topics from every subject okay and if you prepare these important topics if you prepare these important topics the probability of question coming from these topics are very high like last year they have asked dhola veera what is dhola veera famous for dhola veera famous was for water uh, management okay everyone uh, who have prepared dhola veera because dhola veera was in news last year okay who prepared dhola veera completely exhaustively was able to solve the question but people who did not focus on these important topics were not able to solve the question similarly there was one question on parliament structure from which temple it has been inspired that question also people who read did not read it extensively this important topic did not read extensively they was not able to do that but people who knew i had given this question in the test also i had given this question in the notes also okay so people who practiced it were able to do it for example one more question last year there was this okay that me me mitakshara and daya bhaga okay many people uh, could not do it but i had covered this in my optima notes okay so like that don't leave 
anything which has been important in the last one year in one and a half year in news try to cover them exhaustively this is the last week where you need to focus on these high yielding topics guys okay next don't ignore mock practice don't ignore mock practice so many people will say sir here you are saying don't take multiple mocks and here you are taking here you are saying don't ignore mocks okay i am not saying don't take mocks i am saying i am recommending please take mocks but take one mock of any institute and complete it okay have a sense of completion okay have a sense of completion okay and this you should decide very critically very critically okay like what generally what i have seen okay this mock is available here freely it is available some mocks are available freely okay just because it is available freely that doesn't mean that you need to consume okay just because something is available freely that doesn't mean you need to consume it and it is be it is useful to you okay in the last one week or in the last two weeks guys you need to only focus on most important topics most important questions which are formed on most important topics guys here here focus try to identify those mock tests try to identify those mock tests which are based on these most important topics which are there in news for the last one and one and a half year guys next and last last topic is that don't ignore to master the option elimination technique see many candidates okay i am telling you many candidates they know option elimination trick i am not saying that people do not know this option elimination tricks okay there might be some advanced option elimination technique which many of the candidates might not be knowing but on an average okay in general most of the option elimination tricks everyone knows it okay just answer my question why these candidates are not able to implement are not able to implement this option elimination trick and are able to score 144 or are able to score 140 in the prelims exam why they are not able to implement if everyone knows it just ask yourself if everyone knows it why then every upsc aspirant does not score 145 Why not every UPSC aspirant scores 139? Why? Why most of the UPSC aspirants score around 90 to 100 marks, or they are uh, around that? The reason is okay. There is a saying by Bruce Lee that knowing is not enough. You need to implement it. The problem right now in India is that there is no mock test available in the country, okay, which uses this option elimination in the mock test also most of the mock tests are prepared without these option elimination tricks okay for the first time in india i have prepared only those questions which are based on option elimination technique this the 1400 questions which i am talking about okay 90% of these questions are based on option elimination trick so once you practice them once you apply these tricks okay then it will become your second nature then you will become your second nature and in the exam hall you will be able to identify these questions which are based on option elimination guys so i hope guys okay this video where i have talked about the seven mistakes i have talked about the seven mistakes which upsc aspirants commit these are the seven mistakes again i just read out these seven mistakes first mistake is don't try to read something which you have not read for the entire year second thing don't try to cover everything guys third don't try to refer multiple resources stick to one resource okay next don't take multiple mock test of multiple institutes take mock test of one institute and complete it entirely complete it entirely next don't don't leave the important expected topic don't leave the important expected topic okay try to focus more on important topics okay and next is that don't ignore mock practice take regular mock practice and don't ignore the most important last but not the least the most important don't ignore this option elimination tricks guys if you like this please like the video and please subscribe to the channel and please also share this with your friends thank you friends bye bye